Welcome to beautiful Barbados. Today's yoga practice will focus on helping you let go of what no longer serves you. Whether you've had a hard or a bad day, you're in the right place. Because this class is all about moving energy, connecting deeply with our breath, and creating space for more positivity and peace in your heart and in your mind. As we flow, remember that each inhale is an invitation for new energy, and each exhale is a release. Let's give ourselves permission to feel, to move, and to let go, so that together we can shift what feels heavy and make room for calm and light energy to come through. Breathe deeply, be kind to yourself, and let's begin. Thank you, my friends, for joining me here today for this practice. We're going to get started by finding a comfortable seated position along the center of your mat, allowing your sit bones to be grounded. And let's go ahead and place both of your hands onto your heart. With your eyes closed, let's just begin by finding a nice present awareness in this moment, feeling your heart beating underneath your hands allowing you to step away from the day and come inward into the practice. Feeling your breath and your heart beating underneath your hands. Just come into the present moment. And once you're ready, go ahead and take another deep breath in and this time reach both of your arms up to the sky. And then as you exhale, return those hands back to your heart. From here, we're going to begin by extending one of your legs all the way out, flexing the foot. Just feeling this nice gentle stretch as you reach both arms up to the sky, and then reach towards those toes with your opposite hand. Opening through the shoulders, see if you can look up to the sky. Continuing to make sure that both of your sit bones are grounded, start to breathe into the side body. Focusing on the inhalation and the exhalation. And then come back to center, pivoting so that you're facing towards your toes with your other knee to the chest. And then from here, flex your foot and see if you can lift the other heel off the mat, extending the opposite arm towards the back. Or if it's within your practice, go ahead and extend your knee as well. So feeling this deeper release in the hamstring. Hold here. And then bend that knee and place the foot to the inside of your thigh. Let's go a little deeper into the hamstring. Inhale, both arms reach up. And exhale, reach for your toes or the back of your knee as you allow your body to come all the way down. Once again, really focus on coming into the breath. Allowing your exhalation to help you come into the present moment. Letting go of whatever has happened today. And letting it release through the exhale as you welcome peace, balance, and tranquility through your inhale. Just let it all go. Inhale. Exhale, come up to center. And then pivot, come back, and switch sides. So we're going to extend your other leg now. And then on your exhale, take one arm inward. The other opposite arm reaches towards your other foot. And breathe. Really think of opening through the side body, stacking your shoulders, looking up to the sky, even if you choose to keep your eyes closed. But by turning your head upward, you enforce that alignment in your body. Great. Slowly back to center. 
squaring your body and shoulders, grabbing your opposite foot with the other hand, and then extend your other arm to the back. If you like to extend that knee, go ahead and do so, otherwise you can keep it bent. Feeling that elongation through the spine, really releasing any tension through the IT band. See how far you can reach towards the back of your mat. Nice open twist. And then return to center, bend the knee and place the foot to the inside of your other thigh, reach the arms up and then exhale, come into your single legged forward fold. See if you can keep that other foot flexed so you feel a release through the hamstring and the calf muscle. Close your eyes and just come into that breath, focusing on the inhalation and the long exhalation. Letting go of not just tension in your body, but tension in your heart and your mind. Whatever day you might have had today, let it go now. Just let it release with the exhalation and welcome peace and joy into your body with your inhalation as you come on up again. And then exhale, let's release. Go ahead and come over to hands and knees position at this time. Take the time that you need. And then sit back to your heels in child's pose. Slowly from here, bend your elbows and tent your fingers as you extend your arms, look up. Exhale, bend your elbows, bring your forehead down. So just adding some gentle movement here and bring it down for two. Inhale, press into the fingertips, look up. And then on your exhale, go ahead, come up to your hands, tuck your back toes under. Reach both arms up to the sky, feel this nice stretch in your feet and your toes. And then hands come to your heart center. From here, just lift your knees off the mat and then tap them to the ground. Lift and tap for two, three, four, five. Very good. Just find that movement and control in your body. Seven. Last one. Hold here. Then use the strength of your quads. Lift up. Ground the heels. Reach both arms up. Exhale, bend both knees, come into forward fold. Slowly roll up. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, let it go as you release your body. Again, roll up, reach up, and then let everything go. Let that energy go. Slowly roll up, reach up. Exhale, let it go. Good. Whatever it is that you need to let go of today, whether it is energy from people, situations, exhale it out as you release all the way. Now just move your head forward and back, side to side. Feel free to walk out your forward fold, bending one knee at a time. Feeling that decompression in the spine, let all that tension be released. Good. Slowly come up now. Inhale again, reach both arms up. Exhale, dive it into forward fold. Halfway lift. Exhale, walk your hands to the front of your mat and come into a high plank position. Pull the navel into the spine and then take your chaturanga. Upward facing dog, lift up. And then as you exhale, push into the hands and release into downward facing dog. Open up the feet a little bit wider. And then bend your knees and you can do a little smiley face and extend. Little smiley face, extend the knees. So half circle, so bend, come through and extend as you open the hips to one side and then the other side. So just a little bit of movement to get into the hips and then come back into downward dog. Inhale, exhale, slowly from here, reach and lift that right leg up to the sky. Bend your knee. And then continue to bring that knee through the chest and then step your foot towards the front of your mat. Drop your back knee and open into low lunge. Bring your chest down, reach your arms up and bend. Good, come through and bend your elbows and open. Bring it through and bend your elbows one more time. Now interlace the arms and hands behind your back. Open a little bit more. Feel that release in your hip flexor. Tuck your back toes and see if you can lift your back knee into high lunge. 
as you bring your chest down towards your knee, holding it here, and then bringing the heart up to the sky as you open the chest. Hold it here. One more time, bring it down. Inhale, exhale, bring it up. And then step forward towards the front of your mat with your hands still interlaced behind you, come into standing forward fold, but allowing the arms to fall forward, adding a little bit more of a stretch in the shoulders. Bend your knees and slowly roll up to standing, opening through the heart center, look up to the sky, release the hands, exhale, dive forward into your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, two steps back, come into downward facing dog. Come through into plank, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Let it go. Well done, my friends. Let's take it to the other side. Left leg now reaches up, three-legged dog. Bend your knee. Bring that knee to the chest and then step your foot to the front of your mat. Drop your back knee and opening into low lunge. Adding nice open movement here. Bend your elbows into cactus and then bring the chest and arms forward and up. For two and bring it forward. Good. Bend your elbows. Open the chest for three. Reach forward. One more time. Four. Great job. Take your arms behind your back. Interlace the fingers. Extend through the elbows. With your toes tucked behind you, now see if you can lift the back knee off the mat. High lunge. Hold here and then dive that heart towards the front knee. Hold for a moment. Find your balance and then open up that heart center again. One more time. Heart to knee. And open back up. Great. From here, step forward, releasing into your forward fold. Inhale. Exhale. Bend your knees and slowly roll up. Opening up, looking up to the sky. Release the arms, reach up, and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, take two steps back into plank position, chaturanga, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. Awesome. Take a nice deep breath in, and exhale out. Slowly from here, come through into high plank position, and then opening into side plank. Stack your feet and reach your arm up to the sky. Great, hold it here. Now bend that top knee and then begin to extend that top leg forward. Flex your foot, see if you can continue to hold that balance. Grab your toe if it's within your practice and then transition yourself over into a lizard. So by placing the foot along the outside edge of your mat, Maybe do a little movement first, drop the back knee, and then allow that right knee to fall away from your body as you come down even further over to your elbows. Now, if this is too intense, you can continue to stay on your hands. Let's find our breath, and with each exhalation, allow that knee to fall away from you by rolling your foot to the pinky side, the lateral side. Connecting with your inhale, and as you exhale, feel that tension out of the inner thigh, out of your hip, be released. Inhale, exhale out. Slowly returning back to your hands, tuck your back toes, lift the back knee, and then step your back foot towards the other side of your mat, transitioning into our yogic squat, Malasana. So in this position, keep the palms of your hands together, Use your elbows to push the knees away from you so you feel this nice opening in the hips. Come down with your body, heel toe, your feet together, bend your knees and roll up to standing. Reach up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. 
Inhale halfway. Exhale two steps back into high plank, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. And exhale downward facing dog. Slowly from here, come back into plank. Opening to side plank on the other side, reach your left arm up. Bend that top knee. And then you can stay here or extend the leg. See if you can grab your big toe with your left hand and then transition over to your lizard. Make sure that left foot is along the left edge of your mat. Drop your right knee to the mat. Open up and then see if you can come down onto your elbows as well. Great job. Inhale. And exhale. Really finding that breath again. With your exhalation, just letting all that tension go, any stiffness, any resistance that you've been feeling in your hips. Whatever energy is being stored there, just let it go with your breath. As you come up, lift the back knee, and then back foot steps to the right side of your mat into your Malasana squat. Palms together, use your elbows and push those knees away from you. You can add a tiny little bit of movement if that feels good on your hips. Elongating through the spine, through the neck. And then release, heel toe your feet together. Forward fold and then begin to roll up slowly. Inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, step back into plank, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift the heels, bend your knees. Hop over and come on over to a seated position on your mat. Scoot backwards, extend your legs. Find a nice seated straight position as you reach both arms up. Then exhale, come over into your seated forward fold. Reaching for the heels or maybe underneath your ankles or your knees. Folding from your hips, close your eyes. Once again, return to the sensation of your breath. With each exhalation, let that air slowly be released out of your body. And with it, consciously let go of everything that has brought a negative energy upon you. Whether that's been a situation or people or just simply a day. Go ahead and let it go as you come up to seat it. And then place your hands behind you. Lift your hips and come into reversed plank. Bend your knees again. And then bring the soles of your feet together. Open the knees away. We're going to create a diamond shape with your legs. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. And then exhale, come down once again. So aiming your forehead towards your heels. A beautiful way to open up any tension out of the hips with a slight variation. Come back to that breath. Use the breath to let all that no longer serves you. Cleansing your body, your energetic field. Letting it all go. And with your inhalation, welcoming everything that you deserve. Love, joy, happiness, peace. Bring it in through the inhale. Know that everything is a choice. And it's really up to you to choose how you feel in this moment. When you're ready, slowly lift up, reach your arms forward, then gently, vertebra by vertebra, come on down with your back onto the mat, soles of your feet together, allow your knees to open in a reclined butterfly pose, resting your hands on your knees, on your thighs, or on your chest if that feels right. With your eyes closed, let's once again just welcome that breath. 
allowing the breath to release everything that is weighing you down, negative energy, tension, stress, whatever it is, just for this moment, let it all be released. Give it away and surrender it to the universe and gift yourself this opportunity of just stillness, peace, and connection with your own self, with your heart, with the truth of who you are within. Inhale and exhale. When you're ready, you may slowly reach your arms over your head, bring your knees together, and allow your knees to fall to the left and right a few times. At your own pace, you can make this as slow or as fast as you like. And then one final twist, and you're going to roll over to one side when you're ready. Slowly making your way up to a seated position along the center of your mat once again. Close your eyes. Find that center, that balance. And then when you're ready, place your left hand on your belly and your right hand on your chest. Inhale into the belly and then move that breath up through the ribs to the chest. And then exhale out of the chest, the ribs, and then the belly. A few times just like this, moving this breath in a three-part direction. Belly, ribs, chest. Exhale, chest, ribs, belly. Belly, ribs, chest. Exhale, chest, ribs, and belly. From here, release the hands and just open the palms so they're facing up to the sky. Close your eyes and just to finish our practice, I'd like you to visualize you welcoming positive energy through your hands. Feel this energy coming in as you close it in prayer position and gently move that energy down into your heart. Bowing down to yourself in gratitude for your wonderful practice today and for finding the time, no matter what kind of day it's been, and dedicating it to yourself, your health, and to your well-being. All my love to you. Namaste. Whatever the reason that you roll out your mat for is perfect. Remember that. It's important. Because all of us are exactly where we're supposed to be. However, yoga is a journey. And the next level after these entry points creates a space inside to discover what each of us really needs to work on internally. And the deeper your work takes you, the closer you will approach the true pearl of yoga. The inner connection of all things, the universality and oneness of everything. We have two very special yoga series called Cosmic Winter, and we bundled them together with a guidebook as a free offering for anyone who's looking to take their yoga practice a little bit deeper. All you have to do is simply click the link, and all of the classes can be accessed and utilized as a guided program or whenever you feel you have a need for a yogic spiritual attunement. The universe has this beautiful way of presenting opportunities to people at the perfect time they need them. Maybe the right time for you is now to take your journey deeper into the heart of yoga.